Okay, welcome back for part two of shapes in hybridization. If the total electron pair units around the central atom is four, and the bonded central atom has four other atoms that it's attached to, the central atom has no lone electron pair units. The diagram is going to look something like this. Let's say you had methane. I'm drawing it with the three dimensional features. The shape is going to be tetrahedral. Hybridization is S P three. There could be other shapes if there's four total units. For example, if there are three to four total units, but only three of them are attached to other atoms, leaving one lone electron pair units around the central atom. The diagram will look something like this. Let's say you had ammonia, which is nitrogen in the center. You have a hydrogen coming out of the plane. You have a hydrogen going into the plane. And another hydrogen coming out of the plane. I'm representing those with bold triangles coming out of the plane and those hash marks for representing an atom going into the plane. There would be another electron pair unit on the top of this nitrogen atom, similar to the diagram for the tetrahedral methane. However, there's, it's not attached to another atom. This shape would be trigonal. Whoops, I spelled it wrong. Let's get that right. Trigonal pyramidal. The hybridization would still be SP3. There could be yet another shape. If there was four total electron pair units but only two of them were bonded to other atoms, leaving two unshared pair electron pair units around the central atom, you would have this type of a diagram. Let's say water. Water has oxygen in the center, surrounded by one hydrogen and another hydrogen. But this water would still have two unshared electron pair units on it. This shape would be bent. It's a different bent than the one shown earlier on part of the, video, the part one video. The bond angle is a little different. This bond angle would be 104.5 degrees. The bond angle for the one shown in the other part was 117 degrees. The hybridization for water is sp3. This concludes part two of shapes.